All righty, guys. I want to welcome you guys to the Coast to Coast Football Show. Listen, I got none other than Lee Brown on the line with me. Lee Brown is the president and the 12U head coach of the nationally ranked Polk County Mambas. Hey, Lee Brown, what's going on, my man? What's up, Jay? What's going on with you? Oh, man, I'm good, man. I'm good, man. How's everything on your end, boss? Man, everything all right. We can get settled in. We ready to play football now. Hey, that, hey, that's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. Hey, Lee, first, I want to thank you for coming on to the show, man. I appreciate it, man. I got you, man. I supposed to be doing a live a couple of days ago. People mad at me, but I'll be in now. I'm going to be on live tomorrow. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go and do it for them. All right, that's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. Hey, so Lee, man, let's let's get right into it, man. You know, for the longest, man, for years, you know, you over there at Lake Alfred, man, making some noise, and you really, you know, made a splash on the national stage uh, last year. You know, so what made you decide to, you know, to go ahead and, uh, you know, start your own organization? Well, because I, 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 I live in Lakeland, and um, I seen that Lakeland needed a. The city needed their, they needed a, 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 they had good, they got a few good organizations, you know what I'm saying, but they just needed something just to, a stamp on it. We can just, a Florida elite stamp, a good, I just want to bring a, a good little positive and put, put my, put Lakeland on the map, man, because we had good athletes and stuff like that, and I just want to just, just, just go back home like LeBron did Cleveland. Just go home. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You 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 want you want to go home and and, uh, uh, and plant your flag where you live, basically. Yeah, it's basically just going back home, man. Cause I um when I was at Lake Island, I think I was at Lake Island four or five years, you know. And okay. I knew, you know, and I'm from Lakeland, but everybody, you know, and I knew a lot of parents and stuff. They asked me when I'm coming back and why I won't do nothing in Lakeland and why. So I just so I just set my mind on just going and just started. Okay, okay, that that's what's up, man. So, you know, Lee Brown, man, you know, starting an organization from scratch, man, you know, is it, not easy, man. So, you know, for anybody out there that's thinking about, you know, starting an organization or, you know, like you guys did, you know, what would you say has been the most challenging part of, you know, getting the organization started from scratch? Well, first of all, you better have some money. <laughs> Yes, sir. Even the even the Raiders and all them help me out, you know. Oh, that's they good. Advice. You gotta get good advice and surround yourself by good people, man. Hey, that's what's up, man. Hey, hey Lee Brown, man. Uh, to be honest with you, bro, I, I was honored that uh, you know, that you came to me. You know what I mean? That's uh, you know, no, could I help you out, man? I was honored that you thought enough of me, man, to uh, you know allow me, you know, you know, to help you get you know get everything up and going, man. I really did appreciate that, boss. Hey man, that that's what's up, man. That that's what's up, man. You know, so now, uh, you know, one of the things also, Lee Brown, in terms of getting the organization off the ground, you also went from being a coach, uh, you know, just uh, and pretty much just having to worry about you know your particular age group to now you a president, uh, you know, and you have to oversee the entire organization, the cheerleaders, the you know the uh, the football players and the parents, you know, you know. What has been the most difficult part of that transition, uh, you know, going from a coach, you know, to the, the actual president of the entire organization? Well, like I said, it's the, it's the paperwork and the, uh, um, you got to set the time up different. Okay. And you just can't, and then I can't just spend, like I said, like you got to have good coaches because you just can't spend your time. Even though I'm a coach for 12 you, I can't just spend my time on 12 you. And I got to interact with the, the parents more. Stuff like that. Just have a little more patience and stuff like that. Okay. But, you know, it, it, it works itself out once you got good people around you. Yeah, mo mo most definitely, man. Mo most definitely, man. You know, and, and leading up to it, Lee Brown, man, you know, you know, let's just talk a little bit about, you know, some of your accomplishments. Last year, man, you know, you, know, you guys... You know, you know, won your first Super Bowl, you know, over in the, um, you know, Florida Elite. You know, then you went and made a, a huge splash in the, uh, you know, in the, on the national stage. You went and knocked off, uh, you know, that FU, uh, 10U team. So, you know, just talk a little bit about, you know, the difference when you're competing, you know, in a local league, 
you know, and then going and playing national competition, man. You know, you know, what was some of the things that you learned, you know, and some of the differences you saw on a national level than you did, you know, just playing, you know, in the local competition, you know, that you have here in Florida? Well, it's a big difference. Most of all, some of the coaches, you know, like, like, for instance, like, Osceola is a recent team that we played from Lake Alfred and the, um, the Chief, formerly the Chief, all kind of Chief and stuff like that. Okay. We're familiar with the coaching style. We're familiar with the players and stuff like that. Okay. When you go nationally, you got to coach yourself up, man. You get, you got to, you got to realize that on national level, it's kids from top to bottom. All of them good. Okay. All of them in competition, competition is fierce. So you gotta, you gotta be, you gotta have your kids more mentally prepared than anything. Because these kids is, I mean, it's just on a different level. Then it's a good experience coaching the FBI coaching, but you know those kids, it's it, it just the talent level is up. The talent level is much stronger because they have, a, you know, you get kids from everywhere, and most yeah. of them have all star teams. So. You just got to be better prepared. You gotta, your kids got to be ready because this show, because it, it, it's different. The talent level, is, talent level, I say, is just, it, it's just way different from top to bottom. Gotcha, gotcha. Now, um, considering that, Lee Brown, did your preparation change? Uh, you know, you know, going into those games, you know, from what you know, from how you had prepared, you know, for your uh, regular local competition. Did you know? Did you have to prepare differently? You know, you know, for those teams, considering that, that you know a lot of them were you know all star teams and they were t- more talented from top to bottom. Uh, uh, how did you approach that, or did you approach it differently than you would you know, normally approach it? Your, your normal regular in you know, a regular competition that you get here in the state. You got to pay for uh, uh, adjustments different because a lot of those teams you see the offense is, is different from the local offenses most of the time. You might okay. get some of um, them like our kids, you know, they more for they more familiar with stopping the run, stopping the run, but out there now you gotta put in like you might have to take your linebacker out and put in a smaller because 'cause they're going five wide outs. And yeah. stuff like that on you. And they timing and stuff like that. They they the coaches cause most of those national teams been playing together for a long time. They be playing since they about seven years old. So when you get them when they about twelve, they climbing is is they on a different they on a different level with their timing and their coaching. You feel me? Yeah. So your kids gotta be more prepared with different type of packages offensively and defensively. Okay, so okay. That's, that's the biggest difference, I would say. Okay, okay. So so you have to prepare pretty much to defend the, the, the entire football field. You know, you can't just relegate it. You know, to a, you know, five or six yard box in the middle. You know, because everybody's running downhill. You know, you know, once you get to that national competition, you got to be prepared to, you know, defend the entire football field, basically. Yeah, you definitely got to be, be prepared to defend the whole football field because your personnel has got to be different. Because if you line it up, like we so used to line it up and make just a run and run formation, and they just gonna run and run. But now you meet this team, they're just spreading you out the whole game, and they're doing hurry up. So they got five wide receivers out there. You might have a bigger boy that's playing linebacker that can't stick, can't stick those slot receivers and all that type of stuff. Yeah. So you have to make adjustments with it. So it's a whole different thing because they, you know, those coaches they on point too. They audible and they call the audibles at, at the line. You know, not saying it don't happen here, but on a different, on a different level, on a different skill level. No, I'm they saying. call the audible, they call the audible the different skilled, more skilled players. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. So, so it's a complete football team from the coaching to the players to the schemes. You just have to be prepared, you know, for the uh, entire game plan. Right, correct. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Now, you know, you no, know, you guys played in you know two preseason events. Uh, you know, in the preseason this year, you know, you guys went up, you know, to Atlanta. You know, you had a a, a good showing up there, man. Then you came, you know, down. And over the Tampa, over the coast of coast, they had a good uh, showing over there, man. And, um, and and one thing I do that I'm very impressed, you know, with the Mamas, man, is that you know you guys definitely are stepping up to the plate, even as a first year organization. You guys are taking on you know all the smoke, man. So uh, you know, you know, how are you using you know that preseason work to prepare you know to go into your Florida Elite season? Well, I just wanted to look. I want to get. I want to eat. Each level at least get one game, man. I didn't really want to do a lot of games. Understand. I really didn't want to. Get, I didn't want. I, I want to eat one. I'm out prepared for one. Get get one game, man. Just just for them to, to see what they need to work on and see what they need to, you know, and see what see what shock what kids shock them and what kids, you know, and and, and the adjustments that they're gonna need to make. Cause Florida League is a it's tough to 
on Saturday, every Saturday, you know? So yeah. I just try to get their feet wet early so everybody can make their adjustments and we can just move on and just get ready to prepare for the season. 